Welcome back. In this video, I will be explaining how to process some data in Apache Peak. So, so it's going to be the fundamentals to start your Apache Peak NoSQL platform. So first we need to create a file. Okay, so we need to have a file. Maybe we can create through maybe I can give a file as a uh, input input pig okay input pig then open the file maybe I can create some sample data set this is my example sample data set their SSN number then uh, name John uh, sales department and city okay and I create few more Alex marketing New York we are separating the value by a comma so when you are giving the creating the schema make sure that operation Terry Sales New York Jesse Development Boston Rias Sales so this is some sample data set that I created later for your tutorial to practice yours you can use the log data set so I create this and save this file open terminal keep the terminal here input pick the file name is so let's see whether the file is here or not uh, yeah it's here input pick and see the values are there or not Yes, the values that we created, we have everything here. So now we are going to start the Apache Peak. So right click, open terminal, and you just need to type Peak. It will take you to the Apache Peak uh, NoSQL platform. So it's initiating. Yeah, it will be have this uh, current word as your uh, Apache Peak platform. So once you once you got this, we have to load this uh, data set. Before we load this data set, we have to move this data set to uh, HDFS. And I believe you guys know very well about the commands. If not, you can watch the previous command HDFS DFS put. Okay, before that check the path where is it exactly check the present working directory this is the directory and our file is uh, here so we have to move this file so make sure that you remember this path and the file name so to move the file hdfs to move the file hdfs dfs no, sorry. To move the file HDFS, DFS, put space, you have to give the exact location. You have to check in your case what's your location. For our case, it's a desktop. So, desktop, desktop, yeah, spelling correct. Then, file name, what is the file name? It's a input pig space i want to put it as a input uh, pig1 so that is the path that i want to give to move the file 
now the file successfully moved just to check whether the the file successfully moved or not okay so you can check hdfs uh, dfs cat so slash input p one we can see the file successfully move here so we have our file this was the file we created and we move the file now to hdfs so now this file is inside this so remember this file name so when you want to give the uh, file name inside the apache pic so you have to give this so now the file is successfully moved so let's move to the apache pig environment we have to load the uh, data set okay they load the data set to the schema so we can have a name as a employee you can give name as a employee is a case sensitive so make sure that you check the commands properly you have to give the the file name here input uh, pig one okay so that is the command that i use to okay now you can using a big storage and we separated by comma so you can give that one as a then you have to assign the schema ssn it's a char array here you have to know the data type so whether it's a what type of data type name department city so it's recommended to check employee load this is our uh, file name okay using big storage separate by comma the file here as ssn okay should be okay syntax error so you can check if you got the error don't get panic i missed the a for the which one the array here so okay should be okay after this so always check the syntax when you are doing the yeah now the file is uh, loaded so if you want to access you have to put dump employee so it will show you the you have to end with the semicolon so you do map reduce operation so you can see mapper launch zero percentage take some time depends on your ram capacity you can see how fast it is coming if your ram is good it will be faster in processing zero percentage complete now 50 percentage you can see the mapper okay so you can see now it's loaded the data set successfully now you can em enter other commands example employee emp i'm just giving the name emp for each uh, to, to pull some info for each employee generate name comma department emp underscore for each okay then you can try to dump
So every time when you run these commands, it will initiate the map and reduce operation. So we want to see the name and department only. So you can see the name and department, it pulls the information only of a name and department. So every time when you create the command, you are storing in one variable. That is example now, we want to check the filter, AMP filter. You can give any name here, whatever that you want to assign. So filter employee by city equal to equal to, you can put a stream, okay, check employee underscore filter just to have a clear space so that we can see the command emp underscore filter employee because we are to access from the employee this we, this is the place we store our initial uh, value from hdfs by ct and that's the end with the semicolon okay now dump emp underscore filter it should be able to bring all the values that is under uh, stin so you can see here the values pulled are under the uh, Astin whatever the city that we have give so that value will be pulled here now let's say that you want to store this uh, employee underscore filter you can just use the command uh, store emp filter into you have to give a location maybe i give a location as a result pick so it should be able to store in this uh, location so whatever the results we process that will be stored in that specific location later if you go to hdfs folder you should be able to uh, find this results underscore peak to see and we have many commands you can find it in the tutorial that i put there uh, sample commands you can follow all the commands that i have there to do for your uh, log file you can find the log files in times you can use that to access uh, upload the log file get the schema for that after you get the schema upload it after that you can uh, run each and every command so you can see the file is now stored in this place output is stored so every time when the command process you can write that to the uh, the, the, any specific file to be stored the results from there you can use other uh, techniques to process it just we have many commands in apache peak one of its another one just we want to make it as an order emp underscore order equal to order uh, employee by ssn we want to order them in a descending order okay just see So you have some deprived commands, but still I think no errors. You can use it. Dump emp underscore order. Apache Peak don't have for the practical, but for the practical we have a, a MapReduce, Hive, HBase, and MongoDB. This is for uh, you to cover our syllabus open reduce it's a very fundamentals what we have discussed so if you want to be master you have to go through the uh, commands that i uploaded a uh, beginner level intermediate level and advanced level even apache peaks are uh, still used in some of the companies this is a no sql platform still a bit slow so you can see the commands how many splits it's do so it's arranged in a descending order you can see 
which are range in existing for higher the data it will be faster because the data size also lower in this so maybe that took the same time it's not like higher it will be the same amount of time it will take so you can see uh, how much uh, record is written how many speeds it's do all the information thank you please make sure that you upload your log file the log file is there in times you can check the times upload the log file uh, after you have to clean the log file before you upload create clean the log file upload the log file to uh, hdfs after that uh, go to apache p create the schema and execute at least uh, five to six commands maybe you can go up to 10 commands take a screenshot and upload it in our uh, assignment submission thank you sorry just now i forgot to show the results that we store so you can check uh, hdfs dfs uh, ls where you can able to see the folder that we have created so you can see today's day i created this uh, folder results pick then uh, you can go inside the folder so you can see the i see the specific folder there is a two file one is a successfully uh, generated another one is the file remember this is the one we call it as a block uh, create by block by block if you have a huge amount of file you will have uh, more blocks will be created we can access block by block so now i want to see the file that we save hdfs dfs uh, cat uh, result this folder then this is a file name that we have our uh, font then the results are stored in this uh, folder so this is how uh, we can see our results so if you can give this path to s in your scripting you should be able to uh, use this data for uh, some other work thank you